Today what we're going to talk about is on the 10 class commandments are stories. So we're going to do stories. Today's story is about teacher profiles and having teachers having portfolios. So what we want to do is we want to make portfolios for our students. If I love, I see a student that loves to read, I want to try to get that student in the book club. I see a student that loves to draw in my class, try to get him in an art club. I see a kid that likes to play chess, try to get him in a chess club. Um, if I'm watching students um, during recess and I see a student is exceptionally fast or something like that, I might try to get him on a track team. An example of that is I was the gym teacher on the west side of Detroit in the Wyoming and Chicago area. And I would have the students come in and run their five laps to warm up. And this fifth grade class came in and they warming up. And this one kid is just, he's just blowing around the gym. So I'm like, what in the world? Why is this old kid? Y young man, come here. Go to your class. They said, Mr. Ossian, this is his class. So I'm like, whoa. Okay, who is his parents? So as we continue to play, as the kids' students continue to play that gym class, I just kind of, you know, observed him and noticed that it was just different. Something about his speed was just different than the other kids. So on the way out of the gym, the students are trying to smack the nets on the, on the basketball, on the rim. They're trying to smack the nets. They missing the nets. He not only smacks the nets, he smacks the backboard. Wow. I said, whoa, that's different. So I called him. I said, come here, young man. You, come here. What's your name? He said, my name is Walter. I said, okay, Walter, I need your mama, your daddy, everybody who I, that I can find. I need their phone number because we're going to call. So I called his mom, talked to his mom about getting him on a track team. So she gave me the green light. She said, okay, Mr. Austin, I appreciate it. Sure, take him. So I would pick him up, take him, and I took him to Detroit Pal. I took him to Darnell Hall. Olympic gold medalist Darn Darnell Hall. So I took him to Darnell. I said, D, I got this kid, and he's exceptionally fast. I, it, it's something different about this kid. So he says, okay, bring him, Ronnie. So I bring him to D. He said, Ronnie, do you know who this is? I said, no, I have no clue who it is. He said, man, that's the man child. I said, I don't know what that means. He said, you ever seen him play football? I said, no, I've never seen him play football. He said, man, he's exceptional in football. They call him the man child. I said, okay, I don't know nothing about it. D takes him out there to the track and we go out there and track. So he starts doing exceptionally well during track. And his name kind of started ringing bells in the track realm. So he starts winning, but he came late. So he came late to the track. So they didn't, they didn't um, make him come out the blocks. Everybody didn't know anything about track, knowing about sprinting, you need to be coming out the blocks. He was standing up. He wasn't even in the blocks, he's standing up. Other kids in the blocks, he's just standing up, but he's he beating them. So he uh, winds up going to the regional and then going to the nationals. He wins the national championship at age 11. I think he still has the fastest time in at that age group, 11 years old, he ran like a 12.04 in 100. He ran like a 12.04 in 100. So he has the fastest time, he has the record to this day. That was 2004. He still has the record to this day. So um, one of the things that you wanna do is make sure that you're looking and you have your eyes open to see if you might spot somebody that might be exceptional or do something extraordinary just by doing your homework and making sure that you are putting stuff in your student portfolio. All right, I'm Ronnie Austin Young, teach the teacher the art of classroom management, the creator of the 10 class commandments. Go be great on purpose, peace.